This video tutorial will show you how to make an email using an Excel formula however, I'm already familiar with it, it's called Insert Hyperlink. Our link will be more intelligent. Our hyperlink will also fill in the subject line and body content of the email message. To make things even more interesting, depending on the status of the link being selected, we'll have varied subject lines and messages in our body text and all of this happens without ever accessing Outlook, maybe one click send to produce dynamic emails, all of this will be done via cell references and formulas. The wonder of the hyperlink function can use cell references to create an email using Excel's hyperlink function. Other functions, such as if and lookup, can be used in the reference cells, allowing us to create extremely dynamic messages. We'll design a dynamic hyperlink that will send them either a motivational or congratulations email, depending on whether they met or exceeded their objective. We create one of these two email messages by clicking the dynamic hyperlink. We'll design a dynamic hyperlink that will send them either a motivational or congratulations email, depending on whether they met or exceeded their objective. We create one of these two email messages by clicking the dynamic hyperlink. Creating the supporting formulas. To achieve this behavior, we need to create some helper columns that will contribute to the construction of the final hyperlink. Exceed a goal is the first helper column that will use an if function to assess if the sales representative met their sales goal. We calculate the difference if the representative sales exceed or match their goal. If this is not the case, the cell will be blank. Subject, the second helper column, will also use an if function to choose which subject to put in the email subject field. This formula extracts the representative's first name from column and concatenates it with predefined text, using several of Excel's text manipulation functions, such as left, trim, and search. The custom message that will be inserted in the email's body field will be created using an if function in the third helper column called body. The final helper column called send email will use the if and hyperlink functions to generate the clickable link. The problem with hyperlink function. When creating an email hyperlink, the hyperlink function requires unique syntax and Excel isn't exactly liberal with its help when it comes to this type of hyperlink. Let's start with a smaller example. If we perform this in a traditional way, we could right click on a cell and select link. In the Insert Hyperlink dialog box, we select the email address option from the link to column on the left. From here, we can type the email address in the email address. The downside of this method is that we can't place cell references in the email address. If we enter a valid email address, notice how Excel automatically adds the special syntax Myoto to the email address. If we add text to the subject field, Excel will again insert special syntax in the form of subject equals to our text. It is the above special syntax that we need to manually create in our formula. The question mark is a character that defines the beginning of the additional attributes of the email. If we have hundreds of email addresses, it will take a lot of time to create each hyperlink individually. The formula look like this. Breaking down our hyperlink formula, let's break the formulas into smaller, more manageable pieces. We start with the mail to special syntax. We add to the, the cell reference for the cell holding the email address. If we weren't adding any custom subject lines or body text, we can move directly to the friendly name argument. We want the cell to display the message send email. The final version of the formula like this. Testing the link. When we click on the hyperlink, we are presented with the message window. Adding a subject line. We can either type the subject line directly into the hyperlink formula, or we can make the subject line dynamic. The updated formula appears as If you plan to repeat the formula to adjacent rows or columns, you will need to lock the cell reference so it does not change during a fill series operation. Testing the link When we click on the hyperlink, we are presented with the message window. Adding CC recipients. If we always want our boss to the CC apostrophe D on all emails, we can add a reference to a cell that contains the email address of our boss. The updated formula appears as testing the link. Add body text. From up here, the world seems small. If we always want to include a message in the body portion of all emails, we can add a reference to a cell that contains the message that will appear in the body of the email. Now the formula looks like this. And here is our updated result is. Time for mass production. 
If we fill the formula down the column, we can click on any of the new hyperlink formulas and produce a custom message for our selected user. Word of warning. An issue to be aware of is the formula character limit of 255 characters. This means you can write a very long email or include too many recipients. One way to optimize the formula is to keep the friendly name as short as possible. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos and hitting the bell icon.